What is going on everybody? Welcome to Cess Project. Hope you're all doing well. In this video, we will not be in the shop today. We will actually be in my room, on my computer, in SketchUp. So we're going to be building a small, really actually a really small vanity for a small bathroom. Um, it's a design that I had in my head and I kind of just wanted to design it. So we're going to go through that design process. Um, everything that I've ever built on this channel or anything that I've ever built for a client has always started out in SketchUp. So I know kind of what I'm building beforehand. I know um, if the joinery is going to lay out or is going to work out. And uh, if the design looks good or whatever, I can save material by just not doing the trial and error process in person, I guess. If you don't use SketchUp and you're a woodworker, I would highly recommend it. Um, you can save a whole bunch, like I said, you can save on material. Um, you can save on time. I would highly recommend learning it. If, if you guys would like me to actually make some videos on SketchUp, maybe in the future, let me know. Or maybe if you would like to see, before I start a project, to actually see like a speed art of, or not speed art, but maybe like a speed design of the actual project. Or, or maybe you want me to do like a tutorial series on, on how I actually design things in SketchUp. Let me know in the comments. I will absolutely do that in the future. So yeah, let's jump right into the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. To start things off in SketchUp, I do like a wireframe, and this is basically the total dimensions of the piece, so I go and measure where it's going to actually be, and that's where I do like the wireframe, and then I build on the inside of that, so that way I don't go outside of how big I want the piece, I guess. As you can see, I set my layout for two sliding doors, but um, that's not actually right. There's actually going to only be one sliding door, which I fix later on. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is actually a pretty small vanity. Um, it's for a pretty small bathroom in my house, so maybe one day I'll get to building it. I'm not sure yet, but um, this is definitely something I had in mind. And it's nice to have a few designs ready to go, so if you do decide to build it, you can just pull up the plans and you're ready to go. There's nothing too complicated about what I'm doing here. A lot of it is just building off of little blocks. I mean, this is all I'm doing is taking measurements from real life and transferring them to here. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then everything else is up to your imagination. Most of everything I'm doing here is just a bunch of rectangles and I build off of those rectangles. I can add shapes, I can add joinery, um, whatever I want to do really. So this is very, very simple just to create whatever you want. And you just transfer these dimensions to real life and it just makes everything so smooth and so awesome. I'm so glad I learned how to use SketchUp. Now this is the fun part. We were starting on the Kumiko here. This is the diagonal grid work. This actually took me a long time to learn. I might do a full series on how to actually do layout inside of SketchUp with for the diagonal uh, Kumiko, um, as I said. Very, very complicated and it can be hard to do in real life to get it to scale, but I think I figured it out. And uh, we'll be seeing some of this a little bit later on, some actual projects of big Kumiko panels inside of uh, cabinets or whatever it might be. So. That is really exciting, and I'm actually really, really excited for that project. I've got a couple client projects before I can do that, that project kind of for myself. So, yep, look out for that. That's going to be a good one.
So these are the two drawers and these are going to be the custom drawer pulls and they're going to be kind of simple but obviously all wood, all custom the way I like it. You might have noticed I didn't lay out any joinery, the dovetails, the uh, mortise and tenon, mainly because I do that right before I build the project, so that way it's not so much to do and sketch up all at once. But um, that's pretty much it. This sits a bowl sink on top of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. I'm going to be doing some more sketch up videos hopefully later on. So anyway, take it easy guys. See you next video.